as the winter news drought continues, we have uh, more of your questions to answer, which is really handy because there's no news. I'm Mike F. Dave and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you and if you want the latest Apple news and leaks and rumours every weekday at 12 UTC, like my video, subscribe to the channel and ring my bell. And we've got a hell of a lot of questions to get through today, so we're going to get straight into it. First up comes from Lars Anderson. iCave answers, what is the reason why the red iPhone is called Product Red? It seems to me that it's an odd and nondescriptive name. It could be that the name Apple used internally during the design phase but failed at giving it a nice catchy name that sells like Jet Black, Ocean Blue, Silver, Starlight, etc. I wonder what kind of names they came across before they gave up on it, if that's the case. Or they could have called it Ruby Red or something along those lines. Or even Fire Truck Red or Traffic Light Red or Product Red. Okay, so Product Red is actually a big thing. It's not just iPhones you can get in Product Red. Product Red is a basically a massive charity that was originally uh, focused specifically on HIV and AIDS, uh, I believe and has turned its attention to some of the COVID relief stuff that we've been going on. But yeah, Product Red is basically a massive charity that does a lot of different products in uh, red. And it's specifically that every product that's sold in this Product Red line gives money to charity when you buy it. So right now you can get a Product Red iPhone, you can get Product Red t-shirts, uh, you can get a Therabody Theragun Mini, you can get a Salesforce yoga mat in Product Red, a Blissey Standard Pillowcase, you can get a Halloween tea set, you can get a Dodge Ram 1500 limited edition truck that's got red accents, uh, you can get masks, Beats Pill, you can get Hot Sauce, you can get a Vespa, you can get a Fiat 500, you can get uh, teas, there's so much of this stuff that you can pick up, uh, all in the product red range, and it all gives money to the product red charity red.org so if you want to check out what they're doing you can head over to red.org next up team kinetics ik answers now that you've hit 10,000 subscribers can you confirm that you aren't going to start an only fans account to further monetize your online presence i wouldn't rule anything out also from team kinetics ik answers apple design language has recently had a load of references to past apple products colored iMacs and macbooks pro which resemble the old powerbook for example do you think that Apple will continue this into the Mac Pro? What do you think the design might look like? Yes, they absolutely have been doing this and I am, for one person, I am 100% here for it. I'm a massive fan of the retro designs, as you can probably tell from, uh, you know, all the stuff I've done in this studio. Before. We've got an iBook G3 over there. We've got a Power Mac G4 Cube. We've got original uh, Macintosh Classic 2 up there. I've got a G5 and a G4 iMac on my desk over here. The G3 is up in the loft. We've got a lot. Um, I realised yesterday that, you know that evolution of IMAX thing that you see everywhere? There's only two I'm missing, and one of them is the latest. So, uh, what will the new Mac Pro look like? I'm putting my money down on uh, blue and white transparent plastic. Alan B Unboxings and News asks three questions, so we will go rapid fire. IK answers, do you think that the iPhone 14 will have the iPhone 4 design? Yes, I think that the leaks that we've seen are fairly accurate. What do you prefer, candy or candy soda? Uh, candy. What are you going to watch this Friday on Disney Plus Day? And that's a really good question, but I think, uh, for me, the first thing on my list for Friday with Disney Plus Day, when a whole bunch of stuff on Disney Plus is uh, being added, Shang-Chi. I think that is probably going to be a pretty awesome movie. I've not been to the cinema for, what, at least three years, I guess, at this point. So, um, yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. Sweet Alamac asks, congrats on 10k subs. Hashtag IK Vances, the metaverse. Do you see Apple being an early entrant into the metaverse by releasing their own VR set in step with the competition or you're betting on a wait and see approach? Well, we've known for a while that Apple is working on VR and AR headsets. Uh, the VR one apparently from Apple is likely to have two 8K displays, one for each eye. That's pretty mental. And it's gonna need some absolute horsepower to drive those. So it could well be that they need something along the lines of an M1 Max in order to actually drive these two displays on your eyes, along with all the head tracking stuff. I, for one, can't wait to see what they actually come out with. I think we might see the first hints of it next year, whether it's gonna be that headset or it's gonna be the Apple Glass style thing. I really don't know which one they're actually gonna end up bringing out first, because driving a couple of uh, 8K displays sounds harder than just doing an augmented reality glasses uh, where you've got a bit of overlay stuff being reflected off the glass. I don't know, but we will see. Uh, but yes, they are definitely on their way. In what form they will join this metaverse is uh, beyond me because it certainly ain't going to be compatible with what Facebook is doing, I would guess. Joe Stoffer asks, 
Congrats on 10K subscribers. I do have a small Apple related question that's been bugging me. Why is Apple transparent with some product names, e.g. iPhone 13, Series 7 watch, etc., and opaque with others, e.g. iPad? I had a friend offer me a used iPad and figuring out which model it was required a serial number search on Apple's website. Okay, so uh, I'm not quite sure why with the watch so much, but definitely with the iPhone. iPhones tend to be something that people upgrade a lot more often. Uh, iPads people tend to use for years and years like a Mac. Uh, they're not something that needs to be replaced uh, on, a, on a quick, consistent basis, but I'm still hoping that Apple is going to be updating everything annually. They are doing with the base model. The base model, actually, from the fifth to the ninth generation, which we're on now, hasn't changed visually, apart from getting a slightly larger display, but if you're looking at the two separately and not comparing them, you might not even notice that. I do think it's to do with which product Apple expects people to update the most often. And also, it makes it a lot easier for people to search for reviews, um, especially when all of the other phone manufacturers are doing model names every year. Um, whereas with MacBooks and with everything else, I think the Macs are going to get a lot easier. Now we've got M1, M2, M1 Pro, etc. But... Um, yeah, I mean, they've always been that way with Macs as well. Um, I would love a bit of consistency, but I also don't really mind either way. Thomas Rundle, congratulations on 10K. I gave answers. How do you get Apple to engrave replacement AirPod cases? Thanks. So I don't think there is actually a way to do this. Uh, it's only on the full products that they tend to do this. Um, so my only suggestion would be if you have to get a replacement case, buy yourself a new set of AirPods and then sell on the individual AirPod buds as replacements to other people. Um, that would be the only way, I think. Although, speak to Apple support, they might have a way of doing it. Randomness R asks, iCave answers, hey Dave, when do you think we'll get a 15 inch MacBook Air M2 or M3? Also, did you see the report claiming that the iPhone 14 Pro Max will be 6.9 instead of 6.7 inches? Thanks. Uh, first of all, on the iPhone, I hadn't seen that report, but it doesn't really surprise me. I think we could be squeezing out into the bezels and not actually making the device much bigger. So uh, that doesn't make too uh, that doesn't kind of surprise me too much. In terms of the larger um, MacBook Air, I'm I'm still not convinced that we're going to see one. It doesn't really make too much sense uh, in your thin and light computer that you would then make it bigger because then it's going to be heavier and it doesn't quite sit right with me. Um, in the past, they used to do an 11 inch and a 13 inch. I think if they were going to do a smaller one, they might go that way. And maybe we go to a 12 and a 14. Uh, 12 and a 14 in the MacBook Air and a 14 and a 16 in the Pro. That might be uh, the way they go. Fred the Bread asks, IK answers. do you think the M2 will be faster than the M1 Pro in terms of CPU and GPU performance? The M2 isn't designed to replace the M1 Pros or the M1 Maxes. This is designed to sit as a replacement to the M1. So this is going to be quicker than the M1s, not as fast as the Pro machines. Um, but the individual cores will be faster. So your efficiency cores and your performance cores inside the chip itself will individually be faster. Still going to be a mix of four and four efficiency and performance cores. And then the GPU, it looks like it's going up to about 10 cores, most likely. The base level Pro starts at 14 cores uh, GPUs, but again, the individual cores will be slightly quicker, so it might be approaching what you get from the base level 14 core GPU and eight core Pros, um, but it won't probably have quite as much performance as those. Uh, the other advantage you'll get from those base model MacBook Pros right now is that you will have all of the extra ports, you'll have the extra battery life, you'll have the better displays, all of that stuff. Team Kinetics asks, IK answers, how's your battery life been on iOS 15.1? I'm experiencing some serious heating issues and poor battery life on iOS 15.1 on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. A quick Google search shows that it's not uncommon. No obvious fixes at present. I just wondered how common it is. Um, it's not been something I've noticed, but I do tend to charge my uh, phone quite a lot throughout the day. It sits on a MagSafe uh, charger through uh, all of my driving. I do a lot of driving. So I tend to leave with my phone full in the morning, get home with it full at night. So uh, I couldn't tell you what it's been like battery life wise. I haven't noticed any heating, um, only with a few games that it gets a little bit warm. But other than that, uh, I haven't seen any issues. But in the comments, let us know if you're having the same problems. James Apple, is it safe to say that the Final Cut Pro Expo is the only Apple events in November? Hashtag I gave answers. Um, I wasn't even aware that this was an event that was going on until you asked this question. I had a look for it. It's like a free event that's got a whole bunch of like seminars and stuff going on. Um, I don't think it's safe to say that. In fact, if we are going to get an event in November, 
I'd probably put money on today being the day that uh, invitations went out. I don't think we are getting an event in November, though. So it's not a safe bet, but it's probably uh, not a bad one. I do think if we are getting any more products this year, it's going to be through a press release. Also from James Apple, would you own an M2 MacBook Air in purple? Since the design of the colours comes from the iBook and you have an intro of an iBook. Uh, yeah, I'd 100% go for purple. I think purple would look awesome on a MacBook Air. Um, I'd hope it would be a little bit more bold on the colours than what we've got on the um, the iPad Mini. That seems a little bit like wishy-washy. Give me some actual colour. I want some real colour on these things, not, uh, not the vague attempt at colour that they made on the last year iPad Airs because my blue one is silver, let's be honest. And we are through the questions, so uh, if you've got any other questions for me, hashtag IKVanswers down in the comments. Don't forget, send me your emojis. We've only had a handful so far, and I want to make a pretty awesome t-shirt covered in stuff, so please send me your emojis either on Twitter or DM me on Instagram or find a way. david at sangloss.co.uk, you can email them to me. I don't mind. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.